Hi there, it's Jeff. In this little video, I'm going to introduce you to a computer program that helps you optimize your board products. So when you're going to cut out a full sheet, this program, you put in your cutting list for your cabinets. And with the press of a button, this program will show you and a layout of how to cut all your components out on the sheet like a jigsaw puzzle and the most effective way and the easiest way to cut those components on your sheet. It's called an optimization program. So stick around and watch this little tutorial. I'm going to show you how to use it. And at the end of it, it's even going to show you how to print out those reports. So when you've got your layouts of your of all your components on your sheet, full sheets, you can press a button and it'll print out a PDF and show you how to um, you can actually take those sheets out into the workshop and use them as guides to, to mark out and, and uh, cut those pieces out as well. As well as, uh, not only does it show you how to, it will save your um, optimization layouts on, on PDF, it also will create a cutting list as well. So you can actually print out the cutting list um, of, your, of your job as well on a PDF. So stick around and watch this little training video. I hope you like it and enjoy. Okay, let's get started. Uh, over here on the left hand side is the uh, program, MaxCut. This is the icon for it. Once you've downloaded this program, and I'll put the uh, links into the description, uh, open up the program. And just wait for this to open up, and you'll get to this page here. Uh, this program there is uh, what I'm going through is the free community edition uh, version and there are business and these other uh, options as well which are paid but the one I'm going to be showing you is uh, over here on the left which is the community edition which is uh, more than enough for what I, I do and, and what might suit you guys as well so uh, once you get to this just uh, hit that close on the bottom right hand and then the program will open up and you'll get to this um, opening page so in this area here this is where you can fill in some of your job information if you like um, it's not necessary but you can if it's uh, for work or or a job that you're doing um, for the purpose of this I'll just put in the job reference here a test example and once you've finished you know putting in whatever information you want in this section here um, you go into the next tab on the right which is input items so I'm going to go into there and this is the main page that we'll be working in so um, I'll just run you through some little things that are this program and the features that it has and one of which is the materials tab here you can go into this anytime you want and add or delete but you're going to want to actually um, add some sheet materials in here. So you just go into sheet. And this is basically uh, a sheet materials library. Uh, you're going to add into here your, your, sh your sheet goods. So your plywoods, your melamines, your, your MDFs and so on. Uh, even if you're using plexiglass perspex um, you know it works for uh, all sheet goods it could even be sheet metal so I've added in here over the, the time that I've been using it some different materials um, for my example here it comes with a couple of default ones like a white example board I think that was one of the default ones in here and some of these white satin and so on polytech are some of the ones that I've added in here so um, but this is where you actually add your board. Um, you just go into add new sheet and you get to this page here. You add the name of your sheet. So say for example, it's uh, black, black melamine. You can call it a shortcut if you want. Or, uh, and then you add in your um, dimensions of your sheet. Um, so you just double click on that, I'll put in here 2400, press your tab button on your computer, goes to the next one, 1200 by 16 mil, 
and by the way you can go into the settings and change from metric to imperial which I'll show you later on and it actually prompts you when you first start up the program you can actually add an image here of your sheet uh, which comes in handy when you're using grain boards so and then you just press save and that will be added to your library okay so if you go up the top here black melamine 16 mil that's where it's added in for example uh, and it's the same for actually deleting if there's a board that you've just had a bit of scrap or something that you used or you want to get rid of you just go in and delete it okay close um, yeah so once you've worked out your materials one there yeah uh, that's just add whatever you want to put into that you can go into settings uh, layout optimization method and I've got mine set at normal the optimization method which is normal and it will it shows you a little picture here and it will arrange all your pieces in different uh, layouts and configurations as you can see but you can change that so it just lays them in lengthways your, your components or opposite um, but yeah I just have that on normal uh, what else can I go through you've got the over here you've got metric and imperial uh, millimeters is what I've got mine on you can have imperial settings as well uh, you go into go back into layout you've got blade thickness I've got mine set up at 10 millimeters or around about 3 8 uh, but you can get that down to whatever um, thickness you want 3 millimeters or 1 8 as well if you like um, uh, optimization quality best so you've got lowest low good best I've just got mine set on best and I think a lot of these are just default settings that I've left mine on. I don't really worry about group labeling, wastage placement, and font, and so on. You know, they're just pretty much set on default. So um, once you played around with your settings, then you can get ready to actually add your components in here. So to do that, you've got this little add button here. And you just press add, and it brings up this pane here. And this is where you're going to add in your individual components. For your cabinet so for this example I'm going to start off with adding my components for let's say a 600 millimeter cabinet kitchen cabinet so name this is what your, your name of your actual component will be so we'll start off with side so your two sides you press your tab button to go down uh, so the length of that's going to be uh, 720 by 5 60 two of those and then you'll have your panel material put the drop down and this is going back to this will actually show all your board material that we just put in where those options so I'll pick uh, my black melamine here that I that I chose and then you've got um, so you've got a little picture here on the right which is a little bit of an image of your component you can actually put down the edging so if I put color edging example, it'll actually show the edging on the right hand side here, and you've got it on your length one, your length two, your width, and so on. So uh, on mine, I would have that edging on the long side there, which is how it's represented. The other thing that I normally do as well, I just add in the notes here that this is going to be uh, for a 600 mil cap, for example. Because once you start doing a, a large cutting list, say so if it was for a kitchen, um, it starts to get confusing that what what panel or what component is for what cabinet. So you'll see once I do this list, you'll see where this comes in handy. Once you're happy with all the information in this section, you just press save, and you'll see that it's come up there. There's our first um, row there. So I'll just go back to add and from here we'll do um, a bottom and our bottom will be say 568 by 560 there'll be one of those everything else is the same I want the edging there save add we're gonna have a back and we'll have 704 
um, by five, six, eight, one of those black melamine, and I'm going to have no edging on the back, so I'll just put in here none. Save. Uh, next, I'll put an adjustable shelf, and my adjustable shelf will be five, six, six by five, uh, two, four. One of those, that, and I'm going to do the edging again. Color example, and save. I'll just add some rails. I'll add two rails. There'll be 568 by 100. Two of those edging. Save. So as you can see, I've generated a cutting list, and you can see in that notes compartment here where a column, sorry, uh, you see that there, that's all these components here are attached to that 600 mil cab. So if I kept going and I started to do now um, side, I started to put in measurements for a 900 cab. So 968 by 560, two of those sides, color example. But then down here, I will change that to a 900 cab. Save you'll see that that component there it says 900 and it just saves a little bit of that confusion and uh, so once you've put in your cutting list I won't keep going further but this is an example you've got a you've got a button here in the middle that says optimize once you're happy with all your components you press optimize and this is where the magic happens it actually lays out those components on the sheets so it's showing my sheet size 2400 by 1200 there's a bit of a watermark here but this is um, got a few a little bit of information here of wastage and so on um, but it shows you the components laid out on the sheet the blue lines represent your cuts that 10 mil cuts and the dotted lines that you'll see here with, with my cursor are the edging that we nominated okay to the right hand side here tells us how many sheets which is very very handy especially when you're quoting or working out you know for your job how many sheets do you need to buy it's got some other important information here on wastage uh, and the sheet size and so on so this is uh, sheet one if I click up here next it shows me that there's the other component adjustable shelf which it has to go on a second sheet so uh, I can go back here to the previous one, for example, um, and that is the beauty of this program. But you can also um, save this layout. So what I would do normally when I when I'm doing a job is I'd work, I'd type in all my cutting lists as we just did, uh, print the layouts, so and this might be multiple pages, obviously. Then I would go into labels. Uh, not that one, sorry. Press the drop down. Reports, sorry. Reports. Uh, and see where it says job layout. There's job layout too, but I just used it on job layout there. Press print. And it brings up uh, whatever PDF um, program you have. Mine, it happens to be Adobe Acrobat Reader. But it actually does the layout. And if I do that a little bit smaller you can see that layout is just actually on a PDF and then I actually save these and I print these and I take these printed out layouts and PDF into my workshop and I use this to mark out and cut my sheets and components to size simple as that to save this PDF you just go into file save as and save it to wherever you want on your computer done or you can print it straight away do we want to save changes no I'm not going to save it at this stage also in your reports uh, in your reports you can go into cutting list so print and it actually will print out the cutting list that you've typed in as well with a little bit of information here and your cabs so if you like to you know mark off your components as you're cutting them on the saw in your workshop you can do it that way as well and print these off and the same thing you can print or save as 
you know to you wherever you want on your computer the other thing I should show you as well uh, with the layout again is um, so on on this layout here it says one is the side two is sides um, three is a back five is a bottom they are over here as well so as you can see one which matches with our side that's 868 by 560 two number two there that's a different side that's 720 by 560 um, three if you go up to here that's your back at 704 by 5 so it actually um, labels it on the side here as well so you don't get confused what what's what which is really handy uh, and that's basically a quick rundown of this program and the beauty of it and like I said I mean it's for free you can actually trial it out and have a go play around with it um, it's uh, it's got some really good features you can you can actually go into there with the reports it's got other things here too for for costing and and, and so on if you really want to play around with it um, you can also you know muck around with the edging as well to see how much edging you use for a job so uh, but yeah and and once you actually finish with this um, layout or this this job you can actually save it you just go up in here file and you save as and save this uh, max cut file on your computer so if you need to come back to this job and for, say for example and which which also happens um, sometimes you might miss a component or you know you may have to resize a component a shelf or something for example you can actually come back in here um, come back to your input items add delete modify and then you just press optimize again and it redoes it in um, a new a new layout with your new with your new um, measurements or whatever components that you might have had to add which is really handy well there you have it I hope you enjoyed that tutorial it's a great optimizing program I just like to say also that I'm not sponsored in any way by this uh, program but I just sort of be a great um, tool to show and to share with everybody because I personally use it all the time in my workshop when I've got to cut out jobs big or small uh, it comes in handy uh, for cutting out not just a plain board also grain board if you've got to cut in grain direction it comes in really handy and it also um, it saves time and it saves wastage of your material as well which is key features when you're cutting out sheet material so look hope you got something out of this video if you did thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you hopefully in one of our next videos.